How are you doing on Glitches? Got another video for you. Today, I wanna to show you how to do a really fun thing using Snapcam on your stream. That's right. You can use Snapcam as an integration source for Leorn Board or Algato Stream Deck. So you can instantly bring up some pretty fun Snapcam filters or lenses right away on your stream. Or even with using Leorn Board, you can set this up as like a channel point redemption or a trigger effect if a sub happens. So something I did on my stream was something similar to this. And that uses our Snapcam filters. So pretty fun stuff on uh, the video today. You can kind of set up your own little meme live thing going on, whatever Snapcam filter you choose. We'll show you how to set up Snapcam with the Leorn board. And if you want to stay a little bit later on the video, I'll show you kind of how I set up my Thug Life meme for us on the stream. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to our YouTube series. Here's where we do anything we do to help you out with your stream. Now, whether that's visual, audio, or brand, I'm your man, the Argument Mock. Uh, it'll be a fun a day today as we're looking at Snapcan integration with Leorn Board. You can do this with like Algato Stream Deck as well. Um, and if you haven't done so already, help me out on the YouTube side. A subscription, a thumbs up, a comment goes a long way. And of course, you're welcome to jump in when you see me live on Twitch. Come in, make fun of me, and have a hangout. It's always a great time. Uh, with the basics out of the way, let's jump straight into our video today and get started. All right, uh, so I'm going to show you kind of how I set up our Snapcam integration with the Orin board first, so you can kind of get an idea of how to get this going um, overall. There's a million things you can do with this, um, depending on what you want to do. The brilliant thing about using Snapcam for your, your stream is because it will automatically line up all those masks for you. So the very first thing is, and I'll link this down the site, um, Snapcam stream. You're going to want to download it for depending on what system you have on there read through all the fun stuff make sure you have the right requirements um, a little bit of a disclaimer is as this is running in your background you're going to be using a little bit more of your processing power on your computer than you probably will typically um, use while you stream so just make sure you have enough um i guess processing power before you really get into this because depending on what filters you use and cam lenses you use you can actually eat up quite a bit of your uh, resources and it might slow down your stream so i guess that's part of the problem with running it um but i think it's a pretty cool thing because you can do some fun stuff for it so anyways i'll, I'll link this website down for you in the bottom in case you can't find it download Snapcam, install it it's pretty simple um i've got um snap cam already installed and running in the background and I want to show you how to kind of integrate this with uh, your Stream Deck first. And then you can kind of see how we built a, a meme system around it. So um, Snapcam's running. Uh, to kind of do your settings in there, you can kind of go in, pick your camera um, source for it as well. Um, it does have, you know, your, your, your resolution setup, your cam setup, all the fun stuff, some hotkeys. You can play around with all the settings and all that jazz. Um, really what I do is I'm going to show you how to integrate it with um, a keyboard presses. That's how I used it online. And so what you want to do is find a camera source that you like. Um, you can search for it. I'm just going to search like, I guess, shades or something like that. And I think this is how I found the last one for us. So I have some shades here that I used. If you press it, you'll see that it brings my a cam up on there. And I have OBS running on the side so you can kind of see what's going on in here. Um, so I think this is the one that I used for it. Um, our thug life which is fine um, you can do other ones if you want and you'll notice that I have a little star picked here on the top left as you pick it and what that ends up doing is that ends up changing it as a uh, part of your favorites list and then when it's in your favorite list you can manipulate this with the keyboard press and that's what we're gonna be doing so um, I've already started this one and then if you go on the very top left, I know it's really tiny on the recording, there's a star on the top left of your favorites list. Then I have some of my favorites listed here. And then over here on that side, there's a little keyboard lens hotkeys. We're gonna go in there, and then I already picked it to set this up as a keyboard press for us. So right here, if we hit control and then numpad seven, it will turn off and on for us. And so that's kind of what I set up for my hotkey press. So as I'm pressing, my keys and i'll just kind of go back over here to the side i'll hit control and seven and it will turn it off and it will turn it on and now all we need to do is set this up in leorn board or elgato stream deck 
for us. So let's go ahead and jump into um, our Leorn board. And I'll bring this up for us. And I already have like my Thug Life thing going over here. I'm going to go ahead and make a, a new stream deck. We're going to go ahead and edit that stream deck. And what you can do in Leorn board, and Elgato is the same similar way. It's like a global, global pre-press. We're just going to go ahead and create a new button. You can name it whatever you want. Um, and then once we go in there, instead of editing the commands, which I'll do kind of like as a, a one command all together, we're actually going to go into a keyboard macro. And then we're going to hit these key presses. So basically, I'm going to hit Control on one key press, and then another key press will be 7. Um, and so we're basically hitting a numpad 7 and Control, the same button that we activated for our other ones. And then I'll hit Done. And then if we hit done again and we go into a new stream deck, let me just load one up. Pop this off to the side real fast and open up uh, my stream deck on PC. Make sure I have the right one selected. Pretty sure it will be number 13 for me. Then we have that new button press here for us. And if I press it, it's just gonna toggle the on and toggle them off. And so now that's integrated with the Orn board so I can kind of manipulate it however I want with everything else. That's the very first step. So pick out your, your lens, get your button set up with a key press, and then we can kind of have fun with commands and get this all set up for us. All right, now we're just gonna do jump it into OBS um, and set this up as a scene source or a, a, a camera basically in it. So basically I have a blank scene here called test and I'm gonna go down here to plus, we're gonna do a new uh, video capture device. And basically you're just selecting the snap cam as a camera. So you can name it whatever you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select the device as my snap cam. And there it is. If I hit my uh, control seven, it's gonna do its same thing. It's now it's in OBS basically. I can move myself wherever I want. I can go ahead and just like a normal, normal camera, add a chroma key and um, change the, filter out the background, which we'll do here in a second in a different scene. Um, and again, if I just hit control seven or use that toggle button that we just set up, we can have it basically integrated in OBS and we're ready to go to the next All right, step. so now that we've set up our snap cam and it's running in the background, we can go into OBS and kind of set up our meme. Um, I'm going to go ahead and recreate my Thug Life meme. Um, you can do this for whatever you want for Snap Cam. If you want to make exactly what I have going on, you can just copy what I have uh, name by name and step by step. And you should be pretty much able to, to set this guy up. I am using a couple of plugins. I'll link some of my other plugin videos uh, in the description. So follow those along. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to talk too much about Move Source, but because we've covered it a million times already. Um, so anyways, I have a new scene called Thug Life Meme. I'm capturing my, my desktop right now so you can see everything that you can um, that I'm doing as I'm, I'm doing it. And then once you've got that set up, we're gonna go underneath our uh, downloads that I've set up for us. Um, these little folder, there's a couple of assets for us. Uh, I'm just gonna select these and I'm gonna drag them into our, our scene here. If you can't drag and drop uh, resources in your scene, make sure OBS is running without administrative privileges and it should drop them right in there for us and have them set up. Okay, so we've got to hide these real fast uh, for us. So we have a couple of assets. Um, and then the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a background. You can use whatever background you want. Um, I basically set up a new background for us using the color source. Um, if you want a picture, you can do a picture, but the name just has to be the same. Um, I'm just gonna add my existing background I have it called Mean Thug Life Background. It's just a black background using color source. And then I'm just gonna push, I'm gonna actually unhide it real fast so you can see the buttons again. And I'm just gonna push it down to the bottom. So I have Mean Thug Life Background. It's literally just a big black background. So we can have like something that will cover it for us. Um, then another thing we need to do is bring it in our snap cam. Um, so we're gonna bring it in a, in a uh, new do, 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 visual source, uh, video capture device. Um, again, I already have my snap cam here for us, but I'm just gonna go ahead and make a new one and it's gonna called Mean uh, Thug Life uh, Snap Cam, I guess. And then I'll hit okay. And then once you're in here, you can select whatever video source you want, whatever webcam you want. And you should see snap cam as long as it's running as an option. So I'll pick that one up and you can see my ugly mug again and I'll hit okay. 
gonna move this kind of like smaller. I'll probably actually have it like bigger like this once we get the meme going. But I, again, I just want you to see some of the buttons. And then once I have it down here, um, let me go ahead and just adjust it slightly. I'm gonna crop myself a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a filter uh, with a new chroma key so we can get the background out if you have a green screen. So not too worried about the details here. Just make it as, as quick as I can. Um, and I guess that works okay. Okay, so we have a camera, we have a visual effect, we have a music. We basically just have to turn them on and turn them off at specific times. Um, but I also wanna mess with my camera a little bit as well. So a couple things we're gonna do. I'm gonna go into filters and I want to add a couple of effects to this. So I think what I wanna do is add, I wanna add a cam freeze. And so I'm just gonna call a new freeze filter. We're gonna call this uh, mean uh, thug life a cam freeze. If I could type. And then as that's active, you see my camera just froze. And if I go over here to the eyeball and unclick it, it will refreeze and unfreeze. Um, and we're just gonna to toggle this using Leorn board uh, when we need it to. I also want to add, um, a sign distance field effects uh, for a glow. So I'm gonna call this mean thug life. Ah, it's like me. And I'll call it glow, I guess. I, I don't know. And then I'm doing an outer glow, and you can mess with the settings. I, I think this is fine for now. And the other one I want to do is. Um, a contrast change. So I'm going to do a color correction. And basically, if my saturation goes down, I turn black and white. Um, and we need to use a move value for that. So I'm going to do plus move value. I'll call it uh, mean thug life fade out. And then um, the filter it needs to be that color correction. And then I like to change the single setting off just because I'm weird like that. But basically, I'm going to take the saturation and I'm going to dump it down to zero. Make that a little bit bigger. And then um, the delay or the custom duration. Delay could be zero. Custom duration, 3,000 milliseconds. Easing, it's your preference. I go no easing. And then your start trigger should be the bottom one. Enable, disable trigger on enable disable with the move. So basically it will turn itself off. Um, and then I'm gonna take that one and I'm gonna duplicate it. And we'll call this fade in. And I use this as my reset. Um, so mean thug life fade in. Um, the settings on that are basically the, exactly the same except for my saturation, I need to go back to zero. And then my duration, it can be in more instant. So I'll just stick it at 300. And the idea is when this one gets toggled on, I will go into like a, a black and white fade out. And then once I toggle that one, it will kind of get my color back. So basically I just have to manipulate these at the correct timing, all of these, and then it should be pretty good. Um, the other thing I want to do is some sort of move um, itself on the camera. So I'm going to highlight over the scene. I'm going to do a new filter on the scene. I already have two cam setups over here for us. Um, I'm going to delete them because I'm going to just kind of show you what I did. So I'm going to do a new um, move source, and I'll call this Cam1. And the, the source itself should be your camera that you're manipulating. I called it Mean Thug Life Snap Cam. And your duration could be whatever you want. I, the, I feel like the longer the better for this. So let's do like 13,000 milliseconds. Um, and easing, I'll do no easing. And again, the, uh, all the way down the bottom, the start trigger, I like to have it as enable trigger and disable when it's moved on, so it'll just turn itself off. Okay, so now you basically just kind of pick your camera's positions uh, for it. Um, so I'll go ahead and highlight what I've got. I'll get this as a transform, and then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it. We'll call it cam two. And then I'm gonna move my camera somewhere, like something like that. And we're gonna go ahead and get this transform. And the idea is um, 
I, I just want to give some movement to my camera, some dynamics, some, some, so once it finishes it, its movement, it will go nice and big and small. Um, I think on the cam one though, I can probably go ahead and make the reset a little bit faster because it's going to be our, this will be our default position and a reset. So I don't know, 300 and then the cam two as it gets bigger. So there we go. All right. So cam one will be our first one and that one will be that one. Okay. So now we've got our filters all set up and we can basically just kind of go into um, Leorn right, board. So now I'm over in Leorn board. So Actually, let me one. move over here real fast. Um, I was making a new one here with the test one, um, but you know, as far as timing goes, you're going to have to play with this depending on what your, your assets are. Um, so I'm just going to show you what mine is and you can copy it if you'd like. Um, so I have here underneath the Thug Life itself, underneath the keyboard, edit keyboard macro, um, you can see I'm using that control seven. So to, to turn my snap cam uh, glasses on and off. I'm doing that at uh, these time intervals and you can copy, you can paste. So basically I'm turning my glasses on at um, 3,500 milliseconds and turning it back off at uh, 15, so, or 15 seconds. And so basically it's turning it on, turning it off. So glasses come on, glasses come off. And then you can kind of copy these timings if you'd like. Um, fort as well. Um, fort, I've got the best, and I'll just I'll just take the whole stream deck and I'll put it in the download so you can kind of just see what my timings are. They will be different if you have different assets or different preferences, basically. So basically, I'm turning all of the assets and all the filters on at a very specific timing, and then at the very end, I'm just resetting it all, and it's it's pretty simple after that. Then, if you'd like. You can actually make this a Twitch trigger by hitting uh, Twitch triggers and, and adding like a channel point redeem or um, a sub or whatever you want to make it fire off on its own. Or you can just use it as your own little button um, on your stream deck. And that's kind of it. Um, so <laughs> I know that's a lot to digest. Take it step by step. Pause the video if you need to. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I'll see all you glitches on the next video. Be safe out there.